Imagine money as a key, a key that can unlock many doors in your life. But here's the twist. Using this key wisely is what truly matters. It's not just about how much money you have. It's about how you use it to make your life better and happier. In our video today, we're diving into eight special rules from this book. These aren't your usual save more, spend less tips. They're deep insights that can change how you see and use money. From understanding why it's important to save, to learning how to make your money work for you while you sleep, these rules are golden. So, grab a comfy seat, and let's get started on this exciting journey. These eight rules could be the game changer you've been looking for in your financial life. Ready to unlock the secrets? Let's go. Rule number one, wealth is invisible. All right, let's kick off our journey with the first big idea. Wealth is invisible. Now, what do we mean by that? It's pretty simple, but also kind of surprising. When we think about rich people, we often picture fancy cars, huge houses, and all sorts of flashy stuff, right? But here's the twist. Real wealth, the solid, long-lasting kind, isn't about the things you can show off. It's about the bits you don't see. Imagine two friends, Alex and Jamie. Alex drives a shiny new sports car, wears designer clothes, and always has the latest gadgets. Jamie, on the other hand, drives a regular car, wears simple clothes, and doesn't chase after fancy things. You might think Alex is richer, but here's the secret. Jamie might actually be the wealthier one. Why? Because Jamie saves a lot of money, invests it wisely, and doesn't spend it on stuff just for showing off. Wealth, the real deal, is about having money saved up that gives you freedom and choices. It's money that's working for you, growing quietly while you do other things, like sleeping or hanging out with friends. It's not trapped in things that lose value over time, like cars that get old or gadgets that get outdated. This rule teaches us something super important. Don't get tricked by appearances. The flashiest person in the room isn't always the richest. Real wealth is about security, freedom, and peace of mind. It's about having enough money saved and invested so you can live your life on your terms without worrying too much about every penny. Rule number two, money and happiness. Moving on to our next big idea, money and happiness are best friends, but they've got a tricky relationship. You've probably heard people say, money can't buy happiness. But have you ever thought about what that really means? Let's dive into it. Imagine having enough money to buy whatever you want. Toys, games, vacations, you name it. Sounds like a dream, right? But here's the catch. After a while, those things don't make us as happy as we thought they would. Why? Because happiness isn't just about having stuff. It's about feeling good, feeling secure, and being able to do things you love. Now, here's where money does its magic. It gives you choices. Having enough money means you can decide to work less and spend more time with family, pick up a hobby, or help out a friend in need. It's like having a magic key that lets you unlock more time, freedom, and peace of mind. But remember, it's not about having piles of cash just sitting around. It's about using money in a way that makes your life better. Think of it like this. Money is a tool kind of like a hammer. You can use a hammer to build a beautiful house or to just make a lot of noise. It's all about how you use it. So, the secret sauce. Don't chase money thinking it'll make you happy all by itself. Instead, think about how you can use money as a tool to build the life you love. That might mean saving for a dream trip, investing in learning something new, or just making sure you're not stressed about bills. Rule number three. The power of patience in building wealth. The power of patience in building wealth. Ever heard of the saying, slow and steady wins the race? Well, when it comes to growing your money, this old adage hits the nail right on the head. Imagine planting a seed in your garden. You water it, make sure it gets enough sunlight and protect it from harsh weather. You don't see much happen at first, and it might even feel like nothing's happening at all. But with patience and consistent care, 
that tiny seed eventually grows into a strong, towering tree. Money works a lot like that seed. When you save a little bit of money and invest it, it might not look like much at first, but here's where patience comes in. Over time, that little bit of money starts to grow, just like the seed. It earns a little interest, then that interest earns its own interest, and this cycle keeps going. This magical process is called compounding, and it's like the sunlight and water for your money seed. But here's the trick. This takes time, a lot of time. That's why patience is your best friend on this journey. It's tempting to look for quick wins, like a get-rich-quick scheme, but those are like bad weather for your money seed. They might harm what you've started to grow. Building wealth is about playing the long game. It's about making smart choices with your money, investing it, and then giving it time to grow. The more patient you are, the more you let your money work for you, the bigger your financial tree will become. So remember, the real secret to building wealth isn't about making fast, risky moves. It's about being patient, consistent, and letting the magic of compounding do its work. Just like a gardener trusts in the power of time and nature, trust in the power of patience and compounding to grow your wealth. Rule number four, embracing simplicity in financial decisions. Ever felt overwhelmed by all the financial advice out there? Stocks, bonds, cryptocurrencies, real estate. It can get pretty confusing, right? But here's a little secret. Keeping things simple is often the best way to go. Think about your favorite dish. It might have just a few ingredients, but when they're of good quality and cooked just right, the result is amazing. Money management is a lot like cooking. You don't always need a complex recipe with a ton of ingredients to do well. Sometimes, the simplest plans are the most effective and satisfying. So what does simplicity in finance look like? It starts with focusing on the basics, spending less than you earn, saving a good portion of your income, and investing it in a few well-understood options. It's like having a small toolbox with just the right tools that you really need, instead of a giant box filled with gadgets you don't know how to use. This rule also means not getting swayed by every new financial trend that comes along. Just like in fashion, trends come and go, but the classics always stay valuable. By sticking to simple, proven strategies, you avoid the noise and confusion that can lead to mistakes. And here's the best part. When you keep your financial life simple, you free up your mind and time for the things that truly matter to you. Less stress about money means more peace and happiness in your life. So remember, in a world that often makes things more complicated than they need to be, there's power and beauty in simplicity. By embracing simplicity in your financial decisions, you pave the way for a clearer, more confident path to your financial goals. Rule number five, financial flexibility, the art of adapting to change. Life is full of surprises, right? Some are great, like a surprise birthday party. Others, not so much, like a sudden rainstorm during a picnic. Just like in life, the financial world is full of unexpected twists and turns. That's where being flexible comes in handy. Imagine you're on a road trip. You have a map and a plan, but suddenly you hit a detour. What do you do? You adapt, find a new route, and keep moving forward. Managing your money is a lot like that road trip. You need a plan, sure, but you also need to be ready to adjust when things don't go as expected. So what does financial flexibility look like? It's about having a safety net, like savings for a rainy day. So a surprise expense doesn't knock you off track. It's about not locking all your money in places you can't access if you need it suddenly. And it's about being open to changing your plan as your life and the world around you change. This rule teaches us not to be too rigid in our financial plans. Yes, it's good to have goals and a strategy, but being too strict can make it hard to handle life's surprises. Think of your financial plan as a living, breathing thing that grows and changes with you. By embracing financial flexibility, you give yourself the room to navigate life's ups and downs more smoothly. It's about making sure your money can help you adapt to changes rather than hold you back. So as you journey through your financial road trip, 
Remember the importance of being flexible. It could make all the difference when you come across those unexpected detours. Rule number six, the wisdom of not keeping up with the Joneses. Have you ever felt the pressure to have what others have, like the latest phone or a new car, just because your friends or neighbors got them? That's what we call keeping up with the Joneses. But here's a little secret. Winning that race doesn't really lead to happiness or true wealth. Think about it like this. Imagine you're running on a treadmill trying to catch up to someone next to you. No matter how fast you go, you're both still in the same spot, just more tired. That's what trying to keep up with others' spending can feel like. You might end up with some nice things, but you'll also end up exhausting your resources, especially your money, without really moving forward in your financial journey. True financial wisdom lies in understanding what really matters to you, not in what others have or do. It's about setting your own goals and priorities. Maybe for you, that's saving up for a dream trip, helping out your family, or investing in your education. These things might not be as flashy as a new car every year, but they're likely to bring you more joy and satisfaction in the long run. This rule encourages us to focus on our own path and not get distracted by what everyone else is doing. It's about making financial decisions based on what will truly improve your life, not just what looks good on the outside. So next time you feel the urge to buy something just because someone else has it, pause and ask yourself, is this really important to me or am I just trying to keep up? Remember, the race to real happiness and wealth isn't about outdoing others. It's about making thoughtful choices that align with your own dreams and values. Rule number seven, the balance of risk and safety. Let's navigate through our seventh rule, the balance of risk and safety. Life is all about balance, right? Like enjoying a sweet treat now and then without overdoing it. When it comes to your money, finding the right balance between taking risks and playing it safe is key. Imagine you're at a carnival, deciding whether to play a game. Some games look easy but offer small prizes, while others are tough but have big rewards. What do you choose? If you only play it safe, you might miss out on the big teddy bear, but if you only take risks, you might end up empty-handed. In the financial world, playing it safe is like saving your money in a bank account. It's secure, but it grows slowly. Taking risks is like investing in stocks or starting a business. It can lead to big rewards, but there's also a chance of losing money. The trick is not to avoid risks altogether, but to take smart risks. It's about knowing how much you're willing to risk and what you're comfortable losing if things don't go as planned. And just like at the carnival, don't put all your tokens in one game. Spread them out, play different games. This way, if one doesn't work out, you've still got a chance at winning elsewhere. This rule is a reminder that it's okay to take risks as long as you're smart about it and don't risk more than you can handle. It's about finding that sweet spot where you're comfortable with the risks you're taking and the safety nets you have in place. So, as you make financial decisions, think about that balance. By carefully managing the risks and the safeties, you can aim for the big wins without losing everything if things don't go your way. Rule number eight, the art of learning from mistakes. Ever messed up? Felt like you made a big fat blunder? We all have. And guess what? That's perfectly okay, especially when it comes to managing your money. In fact, mistakes can be your secret weapon if you know how to use them. Think about learning to ride a bike. At first, you wobble, you might even fall. But each tumble teaches you something new, right? It's the same with money. Maybe you spent too much on something you didn't need, or you missed out on saving when you had the chance. It doesn't feel great, but it's not the end of the world. The real magic happens when you take a step back and ask, what can I learn from this? This is where growth happens. You start to see where you went wrong, and more importantly, how you can do better next time. It's about turning oops into opportunities. This rule is about embracing mistakes, not running from them. It's about being kind to yourself when things don't go as planned and seeing every financial misstep as a chance to grow. 
It's about building resilience and wisdom, dollar by dollar, mistake by mistake. So next time you slip up, don't beat yourself up. Instead, ask yourself what the experience taught you. Remember, the most successful people aren't those who never make mistakes. They're the ones who learn from them and keep moving forward. By mastering the art of learning from mistakes, you're not just managing your money better. You're also building a richer, more resilient life. And there you have it. Our journey through these golden rules is at a close. It's been quite the adventure, hasn't it? From understanding that real wealth is not about flashy things but the freedom they bring, to learning the value of patience, simplicity, flexibility, and so much more. But here's the thing. Knowing these rules is just the beginning. The real magic happens when you start applying them to your life. It's like having a map in your hands. It's up to you to take the steps on the path it shows. Remember, managing your money isn't just about numbers and calculations. It's about making choices that bring you happiness and peace. It's about setting your own pace, making your own path, and finding joy in the journey, not just the destination. So, as we wrap up, I want to leave you with a little challenge. Pick one rule that resonated with you the most today. Maybe it's the wisdom of not keeping up with the Joneses or the art of learning from mistakes. Whatever it is, take a small step towards incorporating it into your life this week. It doesn't have to be a big leap, just a tiny step. Because remember, every great journey starts with one. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the psychology of money. It's been a pleasure guiding you through these insights and I hope they serve you well on your financial journey. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and here's to making wise choices that lead to a rich and fulfilling life.